You're not going to believe it's taken me 20 minutes just to get it to this point. The bits where you have to put this in, the rod at the bottom, um, it's quite tough, so you've got to have a bit of strength. They say that put it up with two people, but if you're going to a festival or something like that and you're on your own, you know, how is that going to help? At the moment, I'm on my own. It's taking me 20 minutes. I'm not going to put the pegs in because I'm on concrete and I really just bought this to train my dogs to start sleeping out in a tent and sleeping outside. Um, for when we start doing the sort of van life stuff that I want to do. Um, but this is quite, I mean, it's quite a lightweight tent. Um, if you're on your own and you're female, and this isn't any discrimination because I'm female myself, it took me 20 minutes just to get the pegs in here. And it's partly because it's really taut. You've really got to pull it in to get in there. But you're also worried that this might snap. It's not, it's not, I mean, this only costs 24 quid with postage. So what can I expect? But at the same time, should you go and just buy a more expensive tent? You know what I mean? If you're going to use it long term, I'm only going to use this a few times to train my dogs in. But if you're going to use a tent that long, if you're going to go for a festival, um, and then you're going to leave it there or you're going to chuck it or whatever maybe there's like a few goes but I can't see this lasting long I managed to get the doubt the inside flat um, it's not a two man they, they, they've advertised, advertised this as a two man no way no way it's a one woman tent it's a one woman tent I mean it's not even that long I have to measure it actually. I'm going to measure it and put it on the screen to see how long it is. Let's have a look. Okay, it's got knitting. That's quite good for keeping the bugs out. Uh, I'm going to leave it up now because I'm not going to attempt to try and put it back up. I'm going to leave it up and then I'll be training my dogs in it. And so obviously it's going to rain and we'll see how it fares with the rain. Okay, there are instructions. It's in the bag. The instructions are in the bag. I didn't even remember. I didn't even look. So, it says recommended two people pitching. Well, it says one to two people actually. But um, no, I'm one person on my own. And I did it, but I just... Anyway, there's the instructions. So if you're unsure as to where the, out, where the instructions are, just look inside the bag. It's actually in the bag. Just to give you an idea as to how it's constructed, you see the poles going down there, poles, fiberglass poles. They're crossed at the top. Come down to the other side. You're gonna need strength to put them in those brackets there. Um, I reckon two people will do it quicker than one. It took me 20 minutes. And that is the name of the tent. It says waterproof on it. As you can see, so we're gonna have a look and see whether it's waterproof. Also, I just realized that this ventilation sheet is um, supposed to go over the top like that. So, to let you know that it's actually supposed to go over it and not underneath it but you know read your instructions <laughs> i didn't read the instructions and um i just saw an image and realized that that's how it's supposed to be and you just clip it onto these black bits here 